Okay guys, so we finished off our PLC program and this, these are the steps that I want you to take any time that we've dropped a PLC program onto the PLCs in the instrumentation lab. Uh, Ted has his electronics class and he primarily uses the HMI and the PLC in order to control the drive. Uh, so we need to reset the program back to his base program that we w just wiped out. Uh, if we don't do that, then when he comes in for his class, um, he'll be stuck having to drop his program on. So let's do him a favor and let's restore the lab back to the way it was before we were here. So the first step is we're going to come here and we're going to hit stop. So we're going to stop the controller. So we'll hit OK. Okay. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to hit disconnect. We're going to hit OK. Okay. So now we're disconnected from the, the PLC now. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to close this project. So we're going to come over here to project. And we're going to come here and we're going to close what we've worked on. If you haven't saved it, then save it. Okay, and then you're going to close it up. Uh, yes, please. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and open an existing project. So we're going to click on here. Okay, we're going to go to disk. Okay, and then what we're looking for is we're looking for uh, this one right here, the 533 PLC trainer test. So um, it's hard to figure out, so if we scroll up here, we're in my projects, and if we keep scrolling up here, we're in, uh, easy now, we're in Tweedo Suite, sorry, so we're in Tweedo Suite, my projects, uh, and if we scroll up a little bit farther from here, we'll see we're in Schneider Electric, right here. And in order to get there, wait for it, there we go, we're in Program Files. Okay, and if we scroll up a little bit farther, we're in the C, right? So we're going from C down to program files, come on. Okay, then we're scrolling down to Schneider Electric. Then we're going down to Tweedo Suites. We lost it, hang on, sorry. Sorry, my project's right here. So is that Tweedo Suite above? Yeah, so Tweedo Suite, my projects, you'll open this guy up, and there'll be some stuff that you or previous students have been working on, and then Ted's project, <coughs> excuse me, project is right here, 533 PLC Trainer Test. We're going to double click on this guy, and right here, 533 Labrum, that is the base program that we're going to drop in here. Do not fool around with this program, please. It has all of the IP configurations for your HMI and for your computer and for the PLC. So that's Ted's program that he's worked for years on. Do not fool around with that. Please, so we're going to open this guy up. So we're going to come down here to open. It says it can't open it. There's a, an image that it's looking for. Um, would you like to retry uh, loading this image? No, that image does not exist. Okay, once we're, uh, once we're there, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Describe. Here you can see uh, the drive, the HMI, um, the, the Ethernet interface here as well. There's our analog input and there's our PLC. We're going to double click here on the Ethernet port of the PLC. So it's a, that's a double left click there. And you're making sure that these IP addresses match with everything on your Lamacoid. So 131, I'm looking, is my PLC. That's good. Okay. 132 is my HMI. And 133 is my drive. So you're looking at the HMI, sorry, the HMI, the PLC, <clears throat> and the drive on the Lamacoid and making sure that all of those IP addresses are working for you.
Okay? Hit OK. So don't fool around with anything here. If you change this and try to download to each of these components, either the drive or the HMI or the PLC will lose its IP address and nobody likes that. Okay, so we're good there. So once we've done, we're now gonna go up here and double click here on our preferences. I always double click, it's a single click. I always make that mistake. And we're downloading the PLC program and again, we're making sure that this matches with the IP for our actual PLC at our station. It does for me, my PLC is .131, so I'm good to go. Okay, we're going back here to program. Okay, we're going now to debug and we're gonna drop Ted's program onto the PLC now. So we're clicking on the ethernet connection. In this case, we're double checking one last time that this matches with the Lamacoid that's on your station. 131 is my PLC, so I'm good to go to establish communication with the PLC. Okay, this is what I was alluding to in the previous video, that you have the option to go from your PC to your controller, your controller is the PLC, or from the controller to the PC. Okay, right now, it has our old program on the PLC. We want to take the program that's on our, our computer and drop it onto the controller. So we're gonna do this one here, transfer from the PC to the controller, and hit okay. You can overwrite the application on the controller, yes. Okay, sometimes it does this. We'll try retry it one more time here. For some reason, it has that internal fault. It doesn't mean anything. So there's Ted's program in its entirety. Okay, you can see that it is a massive program here. Okay, so don't change anything on his program. This is all the, the components in order to have the HMI talk to the drive. We're just gonna hit run. Yes. Beautiful, we see the green light. And now you should find that uh, your HMI and your PLC are working together in that uh, Ted's HMI program will now be able to call up all the different inputs and outputs on the PLC. And now he's good to go when he comes back for electronics and does his drive class. All right guys, that's all the steps that we need to do. Thank you for your patience. Uh, this video is just for the, the guys in the instrumentation class. Uh, but anytime that we drop a PLC program on, I'm gonna refer back to this video. We're gonna take our PLC program off of the PLC. We're gonna drop TEDs on, so that next time when the next class comes in, they're ready to rock and roll. Okay, last thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna keep it in the run mode but we're just gonna disconnect from the PLC. So we're keeping the Tweedle in the run mode so it continues to run. We're going to disconnect from this guy. We're gonna hit okay. Okay, then we're gonna to go to project. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna close that project. We haven't made any changes. So you'll know if you've made some changes because it will ask you whether you want to save. We made no changes whatsoever uh, and we're ready to close up the Tweedle and we're ready to close up the computer now. All right guys, thanks for your patience. We'll see you in the next video. Uh, next one we're gonna do is we're gonna be building up the, the HMI for uh, our programs. But again, this video will be referenced anytime that we do any PLC work in room C533.